Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to MTV Cribs! This is Amy. You want to check out my casa? Mi casa es tu casa. <laughs> Well, good day, Lionhearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are all of you today? Excellent. Well, today is going to be a great vlog because we are going back to a place that we've been to before. However, we're taking someone very special that has never been there. Um, just because they haven't been on this vlog in a while doesn't mean that um, we don't, we aren't still very close and we don't still talk and everything all the time. So, um, I wanted to surprise her and take her to Elvis's honeymoon hideaway in Palm Springs today, so this should be a fun one. These won't just be pictures of the inside of the house, this will be um, a number one Elvis fan with another number one Elvis fan um, capturing the moment of getting to be in a place that Elvis spent his honeymoon. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. You know, even though I said I wasn't going to put anything personal life or anything in my videos anymore regarding this kind of stuff. I just have so much fun with this person and uh, and I was watching a video that we made together the other day and I was just like, I want her back in the video, so that's what's up. So in addition to today's trip being a surprise, it's this person's birthday this coming week and I know they would expect some surprises on their birthday but they wouldn't expect them early so I stopped and she loves Selena, so I got her a Selena shirt. We're both spiritual, so I got her a guardian angel candle. And she loves chocolate cake, so I got her some chocolate cake. There's that friendly face. Hello. Are you ready to go see Elvis's house? Definitely ready. I can't wait. It's so good to see you on camera, Amy. Hey. All right, we stopped in at, I guess, King's Hawaii, an Amigo room. No, Amy, what are we doing? Oh, you're right. I can't read. <laughs> oh, you're doing your you're doing your uh, Poke Salad Annie dance, aren't you? <laughs> Whoa! Check out this bar. This little like lounge. This is great. We're in a really chill lounge right now. It's kind of tiki, called, isn't it? What's it called? Amigos. Yeah. Amigos. Amigos. What are you drinking? We got a margarita. Pretty look. Look at all the lights. Look at the ceiling. It's really cool. Nice touch on the table too. Yeah. Well, here we are. Elvis and Priscilla's honeymoon house. They moved into here in 1966. The people that created this house were actually the uh, people that built a lot of the Palm Springs homes. And so this was kind of one of those futuristic homes that they were creating as a uh, basically like a model home and they liked it so much they moved into it and after they passed away Colonel Tom Parker lived not too far from here and talked Elvis into moving here. Amy you are the biggest Elvis fan. How did you become I'm an Elvis more fan? I'm an Elvis fan. I'm Elvis family. How did you become an Elvis fan? When did this start? Do you have enough time? Yes I do. Okay so I was 11 years old and Elvis 68 comeback special was on Disney Channel and my dad was in the living room watching it and I came out and he said come watch Elvis and I was like no I don't want to watch Elvis and he said sit down and watch Elvis and then by the end of it I was like what did you like the voice his look his style what was it about him it was like a soul connection like it was more than just Cause I was only 11 so it was more I don't know but my parents were just like I said mom can you get me an Elvis tape and they're like okay they probably thought were they big okay. Elvis fans or was it no. no they just happened to your dad just happened to be watching it because yeah. he like okay they loved my dad liked Elvis and everything but it wasn't like in my life like that now how big of an Elvis then, fan have you become and then I went through all their albums and then they had one Elvis record and I remember I would, I went in there and I found it and I had this like bottle of oil of Olay lotion 
and I was like rubbing it on my hands listening to his record and the lotion dropped on his cheek and I was like oh no and I rubbed it off but then it like rubbed in and like to this day it still smells like the oil of Olay. <laughs> From the first time so that you listened I to Elvis. Oil of Olay lotion, I think about that. It's so weird. So what's your favorite so Elvis weird. song? That's really hard. Of course, Polk Salad. Yeah, yeah. That I've seen you break out into dance numerous but times for that. But the live version on That's the Way It Is, not just any Polk Cause Salad. Because he's super dance, happy during that version. The live version on That's the Way It Is. Now, how excited are you to, like, you love Priscilla. You're not just like a, you love Elvis. You love Elvis and Priscilla, so this Although, is... I wish I was Priscilla. Well, this is your first time... I'm kidding, I love Priscilla. I do. You get to see, right up in that house, lucky. that was the bedroom that they stayed in. So we are gonna take the tour. They don't allow video, but we can take as many photos. So we're gonna make a photo montage, and you and I are gonna narrate it together. She's doing her polk salad. Polk! Salad. Ha! Whatever. I feel so cheesy. Are you ready for this? I'm not normally this cheesy. Well, when they got married, they got married in Vegas. They were going to get married here, but the paparazzi people found out. So when they came back, Elvis carried Priscilla over the threshold, yeah. singing the wedding song. So let's go take a look. Let's go see. Let's go. Give us a tour. Walk us up there, Amy. Okay, but I don't know what, what to say. I've never been here. Jordan. Just kidding. This is part of your early birthday present. Happy birthday to me. Absolutely happy birthday to you. Um, what do I say? Okay, so oh, we'll just take us up, just take us up around and we'll take a look as we go. This is your lifestyles of the rich and famous moment. So this is my fountain. I had this installed. This is for sale if we decide we want to buy this, Amy, you know. Look, other Elvis fans. There's their bedroom, and there's the front door with these zodiac symbol doorknobs. Give us a rendition of the wedding song, Amy, while you get carried over this. <laughs> Tell them. The door is locked. <laughs> They're keeping people like us out until the tour starts. I love all the fixtures here. All right, here we go. She's so excited. All right, here we go. There's the wedding photo. Priscilla and Elvis, the house that we're in. And Amy is excited. This is her birthday, one of her birthday presents, so she's really happy to be here. They told us, of course, that Elvis carried Priscilla across the threshold, so they asked for a volunteer to do it, and I volunteered, of course, because I'm the gallant one. There is a picture of Elvis, a painting, and then to the right is a picture in front of the house. Now, there's a picture of Elvis, Priscilla, and Priscilla's mom on the couch we're about to see. These are all kind of the story of his time in the house. You can see clam bake because he was making that when he was here. There's some photos. That, those are his keys for this house when he lived here. He liked to collect police badges, so that's a photo of the one he has from Palm Springs. And that is a view from where we were standing when you enter the doorway looking out at the pool through the house. Amy's excited. This is all the original furniture. The furniture was built for the house. Uh, by the Alexander family. It was meant to be a model home. It was called the Home of the Future. And the wife loved it so much she insisted on keeping it. Elvis ended up renting it for about a year. And those photos above are Priscilla and Elvis sitting right where we are sitting right now. Now that's looking from the couch into where we just walked into. And you can see Amy's sitting in front of a fireplace type uh, deal that sucks the exhaust out. Of course, she's making herself at home because that's what this place is for. It's an architectural masterpiece. They actually say that it's one of the most, um, like the top five places to have yourself photographed in in the world as far as houses. What a beautiful place. Now, this is a view from the couch looking out at the pool. And Amy picked up the guitar. She can play guitar, so she was sitting there playing a little tune while we were looking around. There's a view of the pool. And then here are some of the things that decorate the house. I'm not sure if these were here when Elvis was living here or not, but I know all the furniture was. 
then of course, you know, Amy's just taking in every little thing because she's like me when you come to this place. Like you just imagine Elvis sitting in every single spot. So we wanted to experience every moment, every place Elvis would have been. There's the original owner's wife when they're building the house. And then this is a view uh, from the dining room. And that's a model, well that's the drawing of what the house originally looked like before they added the peak, and there's the peak. I think it looks better with the peak on it, don't you? And then here's the hibachi inside the kitchen, a circular kitchen, and Amy was mentioning how we should get this book and cook some stuff out of it. That's the Elvis cookie jar. And the stoves, the refrigerator, the photos of the family, Amy enjoying it all. There's some family photos. And Amy pretending she's calling up to Elvis's room from the intercom. There's a picture of Graceland. And the whole kitchen. And then this is the weird little uh, living room. As soon as you exit the kitchen, those are some of the things on the table. And Amy found a picture of Elvis to hug. And we just wanted to show what it looked like to actually kind of live in it. So this is a view from that room looking out at the pool. That's a view of the first room we were in from outside. And then we found a picture of Elvis and Priscilla sitting in those type chairs right in front of there. Right where Amy's standing. And then he said she could take photos in the pool, put her feet in. So we did. Why not? That's what we're here for. Then that pathway is what Elvis and Priscilla took to sneak out in the early hours of the morning to get in a car that Frank Sinatra had waiting to take them to the airport to go to Las Vegas to get married. Rona Barrett had blew the whistle on Elvis's plan to get married in Palm Springs, so they snuck out through this pathway. As you're walking out the pathway and you turn around, that's where Amy's standing. And then this was outside the pool. Another view from the pool. And then Amy sitting in the bathroom <laughs> and coming out of the shower. She was so excited to use Elvis's bathroom. And then that's the room that we were just in, so the bathroom is right off there. They said that jukebox would have probably been filled with Roy Orbison, not Elvis at the time. Now it's all Elvis. Some Elvis shades. And then we're walking down the hallway to go to where Priscilla's mom's room was. These are all different moments in Elvis's life. The guy's telling us different stories about the different photographs. And that's a view from the beginning of that hallway, looking back where we just were. There's a signed picture uh, from Colonel Parker, who lived right down the street, and we went and saw his house. There's Rona Barrett, who kind of spoiled the wedding, made it end up happening in Vegas. And then Amy at the end of the hallway as we're going into Priscilla's mom's room, which is right here. That would have been her bed. And he said, go ahead and take pictures on the bed. So Amy did. Why not? <laughs> and then this is the bathroom. Amy's in the tub, checking out the tub. Some Elvis posters above it. She's sitting on the toilet, of course. Then this house was an experimentation and natural light. So they put those kind of things all over the house so that the natural light could come in to light up the house. And that's a whole view of the room. And then Amy putting on her chapstick by an Elvis dummy with the 68 comeback special suit. Now we're finally going upstairs to see Elvis and Priscilla's bedroom. And that's what decorates the walls. There's the tub outside their room, the bathroom outside their bedroom, King's throne, Amy using the bidet, <laughs> and Amy laying on their honeymoon bed. And that's a friend we made there taking her own pictures. And then Amy and I taking a picture. She's looking out the window, and that's the view from outside the window. I love that painting. Isn't that great? Then Amy doing the Elvis karate pose in front of his picture. And Amy playing another tune. Now she's reading Elvis and Me by Priscilla with a hound dog. She looks pretty happy. And that's their dresser inside the room. And back in the bathroom, the pictures they had in there, she was checking them out. And now our tour is pretty much over. We just walked down the stairs, back into the living room. 
Okay, so I have to use the bathroom, and he said I could use the bathroom, but we're not allowed to videotape. So I just wanted to show you guys. I have to go to the bathroom. I can never get enough of coming to this place. I really love this place. It's for sale for a few million dollars. I'm glad that she got to Glad she got to see it and take so many pictures. She was a pretty happy camper today. All right, Amy, you're now matching up that last photo that I just showed of Elvis oh. and Priscilla standing right there. Oh. How did you enjoy our tour? Did you have fun? Oh my gosh, I loved it. Was it everything that I promised you? Yes, and I can only imagine how I'd be at Graceland. Look who's the photographer now. <laughs> Here's where Elvis would have driven his cars into. This was the official driveway to the house and then the tennis courts off to the right. It's a lot of space for a lot of cars to come visit. What I didn't tell you is I'm gonna take you to the house that Elvis moved into after this here in Palm Springs. He used to call it Graceland West. Do you wanna go check it out? Let's go. I love the fact that even as we're getting in the car, you're still looking up at the house and you're admiring how beautiful it is. It is. I've looked all over the internet and I never could find any photos of Elvis here, but this was what he called Graceland West. He never owned the house we were just at. It was uh, bequeathed to the daughter of the family who, who built it. And I believe she was a miner, and since everybody had passed away, she couldn't live in that house that time, and so that's why it was rented out to Elvis. But this was the house that he did own, and when he and Priscilla um, got a divorce, from what I understand, he told Priscilla she could have the Beverly Hills house as long as he got this house, and he used to call it Graceland West, and even turned some of the rooms inside the house um, into rooms that were kind of like the ones at Graceland, like the jungle room at Graceland. I said he used to spend at least six months out of the year here. Once he was done making movies, if he wasn't in Graceland, he was up here at this house. Amy, look at the babies. I was telling you when we were driving here that I got to see the babies. Well, I was trying to see the babies in Prague on TV Tower, but they have them here, the same yeah, artist. No And they're like, they're crawling all over the wall over there. That is just weird. That's art. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, it's very, very weird. Nice little butt. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Do you want to repeat what you just said to me when we got in the car? I was saying, why did the artist give the babies super feminine worked out butts? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> they were like super... Like Jane Fonda? Not baby-like. They were very fit. <laughs> All right, Amy, so I'm bringing you over to a corridor that I discovered last time I was in Palm Springs. Nice jacket, by the way. Thanks. Awesome. Um, yeah, I want to show you this corridor that I stumbled into, see what you think of it. Okay. All right, let's see what you think of this. I'm going to get your reaction. Start looking around. Look behind you. Really? Look at this. The monkey's on the tree over here. I didn't see this last time, this chair art. I don't think that was here. Kinda does feel like you're walking through a little bit of a mission. Don Quixote. We might run into our friend. Oh yeah, typical Amy, she made friends while we were at the Elvis tour. Yeah, this is, we saw them. Right here looking at the stars and <laughs> Linda Carter Wonder Woman right there. Where's your star, Amy? Where's your star, huh? 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 We're over here because I want Amy to meet Sonny Bono. Sonny Bono, former mayor of Palm Springs, is just sitting here watching the cars drive by, wondering if Cher's gonna come visit. Well, Amy, did you have fun today? Yes. Our day in Palm Springs? It doesn't even really look like Sunny. I think it does. What do you guys think? Do you think Amy's right or I think it looks like Sunny, I don't know. 
I think I look more like Sunny than this looks like Sunny. All right, my friends, we are gonna call it a night. I wanna thank Liz Powers for becoming my newest Patreon, and uh, of course, this lady right here. It's always good to see her, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night, and goodbye.